Hello, my name is Gary Taggart, and I live in Northern California. I grew up and spent most of my time as a Republican. Several years ago, changed to being an independent because I saw things that I agreed and disagreed with in both parties. Um, I didn't vote for Trump during 2016. I looked at the way that he treated uh, other people in the primaries and his name calling, and I thought he was so unpresidential uh, that I couldn't support him. But now here again, now we are in 2020, and we're faced with the same choice. I'm going to guess there were people that, uh, that supported him, thinking that once he got into the office, he'd become presidential, he'd be the adult in the room. Well, we know now that's not going to happen. <clears throat> he is actually the most divisive person, not just candidate, person I've ever seen in my entire life. General Mattis, who worked with him for two years, said that he doesn't even try to unite the country. He's, so, he's, he's that divisive. I look at the way that Trump encourages racial tensions, his support for, ra- for, for uh, conspiracy theories, or the way that he labels anything that doesn't agree with his way of thinking as being fake news. These things are just really, really destroying our country, hurting us greatly. You know, you go back and you look at the Gallup polls. They've been doing polling since the 1930s. And do you realize that Trump is the only uh, president who has never gone above 50% approval rating. It just shows you how many people disagree with his thinking. <clears throat> it's not just his divisiveness that I take issue with. I look at things like the way he's handled the pandemic. The U.S. is among the worst performing countries in the world in terms of our pandemic response. Tens of thousands of lives have been lost because of Donald Trump's ineptness. Also, this is a time period where we're competing with China. We need allies. We need alliances. Trump is 100% unable to go that direction. It's his way. It's America first. And he's not an alliance builder. We need alliances and allies. Trump's not the right guy. I also look at people that have worked around Trump in his administration. There are scores of people now that use a word that they've never heard from a candidate before. They actually say that he is unfit for office. I mean, referring to the person's mental state. I mean, unfit is a really, really scary word. And in an area where people give Trump a lot of credit, and that's the economy, do people realize that before Trump, 110 months before Trump, the U.S. had gone through its longest period of economic expansion? And then during the first three years of the Trump administration. He added over a trillion dollars to our national debt. I mean, we can't afford that kind of economic management. You know, on a personal note, and as a Christian, um, I can't support someone who is the antithesis of Christian values. I, I do understand that some Christians believe that he's a defender of their beliefs, but I got to ask, at what cost, at what cost is that delivered? Christians are supposed to be the light of the world. And it, it's, I can't support someone who has got such a dark heart. So I'll be voting for Joe Biden. Joe Biden uh, will bring back civility into the presidency. Uh, he'll, he'll work on uh, international alliances. Uh, and he'll restore order to, uh, to our country. He'll bring us back to being the United States. You know, as much as you may hear a thing about Biden, he's not a socialist. He doesn't want to defund the police. He's not going to destroy the suburbs. These are all things you hear from the conservative right, but it's just not true. Also, if you're uh, concerned about uh, uh, abortion, I I would encourage you to look at abortion rates over the last 40 years. They've come down uh, regardless of who's in the White House. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, voting for Joe Biden.